I'm offering a little workshop. Going round to sort this Christmas stash out. So I've just put some um, garlands in the car to take round now. Hold on, I've got to do my ears, getting on my nerves. Um, yeah, so I've got these garland, garlands, garlands, which I've got from the range. I've kept one here because I'm going to show you when I come back. Well, now I can show you the ones when I get round there. But I've kept one here because I want to do the staircase and decorate it and take some video and do that. So I'm going to keep one here and the others. I think I've got maybe five. They were nine ninety nine, nine ninety nine each. Uh, they, I think they're nine four. But anyway, when we get round to my little workshop, I'll um I'll show you. So we're off there now, and then um sorry, I've got. I've, I've either got glitter in my eye or a bit of dust or something off of these decorations. There's stuff all over the floor, not bits, you know what I mean? And um, and I've got a bit of eczema on my wrist, I keep itching it. Anyway, forget that. So I'm going to jump in the car, shoot round there. I'm taking Bruno back as well at the same time uh, because I really need to hoover the house and I can't do it when I've got him because he's molting everywhere. So he's going home, taking him back, going around the workshop. So I'll see you around the workshop and I'll show you the Christmas stash. See you in a moment. Actually, I bet keep my glasses on, that'd be a good idea because I can't see a flipping thing. I'm done. Oh, that's better. I can see you now. Well, not literally. <laughs> see you in a minute. Here I am. In me little, in me, um, Hang on, let's start again. Here I am. This is my little corner. This is my little work workshop. So this is where I'm going to be doing stuff. Um, so what I thought we'd do is just go through my Christmas stuff because I've bought a lot of it round here. Um, sorry, it's on a bit of a main road, so you're going to hear the cars going up and down. Um, if it gets really noisy, then I'll bring the camera in. The only reason I've got the camera there is because the door's open because it's a bit more light, a bit natural light. Uh, I don't think it makes any difference actually if I shut the shutters down. Hold on, let's see if it makes any difference. One minute. Let's put that there, Amo. Hold on. I'll bring these bits in. One minute. Okay, so I might as well leave the camera there. So I thought we'll go through what I've got here. Now the first thing I want to show you quickly is the garlands I've just bought to do the stair garlands. Um, and I've got these from the range. Hold on, because obviously I've chucked them on the floor. And I actually think these are really good value for money. They were 9 99 They, I think they're 9 foot. Hold on, let me check. I'm pretty sure they're 9 feet. 2.7 metres, is that 9 feet? Anyway. Obviously, they're all scrunched up like that, but there's, they're actually quite bushy. And someone, one of my little fellow YouTubers, said the range. He sent me the link, and I had a look on there, and that's why and I ordered them because I think they're really good value for money. So once they're all bushed out, and you've got all your stuff on them, they're actually not too bad. Whether you can get them cheaper anywhere else, I don't know. I mean, I've even looked on wholesale sites. Not that I can get wholesale because I'm not company um, and even they couldn't price match these so I personally I think they're quite good quite good value for money so I bought a few of those 
because as you know my stairs is quite high it goes up and then across that little top bit there so that will look nice coming down there um, and then I've got one for my mum and the other couple of spare ones when I do some I've got some arrangements to do anyway right so that's that bit done so let's get them out of the way now I'm just going to shift over to here a touch so you can see me and then we'll go on to my little stash over here I've even bought my little pipes round you know for the garland and then blue ones I found you remember I had these when I did the uh, table runner actually what's in this bag here oh so in this bag here I've got well you've seen these anyway the um oh no you haven't seen all of this in here hold on hold on a moment I don't think I can get it all out can I picture frames oh this this is what I was looking for and I couldn't remember where I put them you know them cloths plastic ones I want to take one of them home so in here I've got those Halloween wreaths from the pound shop and now I've caught my flipping jumper on a twig this one I bought from a charity shop but it was actually brand new obviously someone just abandoned it didn't ever use it and that was two pounds and it's on one of those plastic frames just like at the pound shop so um I'll probably take the bow off of it but apart from that not bad at all is it for three quid um this was a big round reef with loads of I don't know if you can see, you probably can't see, but um, my auntie gave me this and it had loads and loads of like little, let me come closer, you might be able to see, little jewels all through it, but they was on loads of twigs and sticks and I took it all off to use that and kept the little reef bit. I've got another reef here, this was one of my mum's reefs, took, stripped it all off, uh, kept that bit for the frame. Oh, these was at the pound shop. Do you remember? I think they've got them in there again. Now, this was make your own reef with these. I mean, you're not going to get much with that little bit. But what I do use them for is like pipe cleaners to tie things up with. So when I did my stair garland last year, I actually bought these and used them because they're on a wire to tie around the banisters. So they're quite handy, actually. What else have I got in here? Um, oh yeah, one of the little trees, the little pound shop trees, which actually, that reminds me, I need to take two home, because I'm going to do the, the swags, and I will use them, see what they come out like. Right, so, that's them, that's that bag, little stash, I thought that was well good for the money, actually. Um, Right, so let me just move this over there. And that there. Right, what else have we got? What else have we got? Over here, I've got a little box here of stuff. Um, I've got some potpourri, just a bag of potpourri. Now, in this one here is a mixture of pine cones and bits and pieces. That's, you've seen that, I don't know why that's in that box. Take that out. And I'm not even going to tip the whole thing out. But if I bring it forward, you can see it is full up with odds and sods. Bit white berries. I've got loads of pine cones. Um, let's come down here a little bit. I've got green baubles. These are my, as I say, my odd bits. Big pine cones. I love these pine cones. I showed you before. Medium sized ones. I've got these little little bells which I can spray paint and do stuff with, little red baubles, little red berries, little gold baubles, uh, yeah so that's about it in there I think, yeah yeah that's about it in that one so that's just a kind of anything goes in that little box and then we'll go oh, move again Right, so that's that one. Let's just move that out of the way. In here, what have I got in here? Some of the stuff I know what I've got in the base and some of it I don't. Oh, it, more rods and sods again. So in here, look, I've got loads of bits of uh, flocking. This is that garland from the pound shop. Cut down into, into strips and that's what I said to you. I used it as, as ties um, and I flocked them. 
and that's what I used to do my, gar my stair garden last year. So that, that's all in here. Loads of those bits. Oh, what else is in here? Oh my God, my mum gave, God bless someone, please look. My mum gave me, when she used to do um, artificial flowers when, when I was young, probably where I get it all from, and she did um, all, like my nans, my granddad's uh, graves, and always did their flowers for the graves. And so these are all from the cemetery. They're so old and yet they've lasted all these years. And my nan died um, 12 years ago, something like that. And my granddad died when he was like 43, I think he was killed um, in, a, in an accident. And so that's my mum's dad, so she was only young. And, um, and she's had them on, on, these, on the graves for years and years and years and years. Look at them. <laughs> Look at them little things. Honestly, they are so old, these flowers. And she said to me, do you want to, um, I said, no, don't throw them away. And they probably cost her a lot of money back then. But you can just see the quality of little flowers back then to what they are now, artificial ones. Anyway, so that's the little stash. And she even gave me this, look, an old gold candle. It's an LED one. I don't even know if it works. But that's old. What else is in here? Oh, some old blue flowers, look. Um, that's it really in there. So that's that bag with all the old flowers. Let's put that down there. Wait a minute. Um, what's up here? So, oh, another garland. Where did this one come from? Oh, I think it's a. I think it's the one at the range as well. Then, or was it? You know, I don't know, because it hasn't got a label on it. Just shows you, I didn't even know I had that one. But it does look similar to them ones in the range. Who knows? Uh, what else have I got? Some balls. Oh, this is those, do you remember what I made with the flower arrangement? The balloons and the flowers. Well, what I'm going to do with these, I'm keeping these. And what I'm going to do is put them outside as tri um, Christmas tree decoration. No, not Christmas tree decorations, because they're not going to be Christmas trees. But they're going to be a Christmas decoration. Put it that way. I'm, I'm going to. I'm not sure what I'm going to put on it, but it's going to be like a topiary. Is it called topiary? Topiary. You know, like with a ball on the top, like a Christmas ball, I suppose, and decorate it. Put all lights around it and do all that stuff. So I've got the two of those. So they're going to go either side of the front door so I need to spray paint this because I don't want it ro this is rose gold and I don't want rose gold um because my front door's although I could because grey and pink does go so I could keep it rose gold actually it might be quite nice make a change from silver with grey you know so I might keep the rose gold actually that's a backdrop sequin backdrop to go on my little backdrop stand that there and what's in this bag Blimey. bag of pine cones more pine cones now these are obviously ones i've got from out and about and someone reminded me to bake them i don't know if this light's very good in here does it do i look a bit fuzzy i don't know whether it's making a little bit misty but apologies for that anyway uh pine cones so i've got a bag of those so they'd be nice to spray up yeah, and someone said about bacon, put them in the oven, baking them to get rid of all the bugs. Oh, I've got a few of these. I bought these from the pound shop last year. You know the door hangers, what are a pound? I think they went down to 50p, so I've got a few of those to put the wreaths on. I might get them all out. These, I've got all these last year from the pound shop. I don't know why I bought hearts, because I don't really associate hearts with Christmas. And yet, they was in their Christmas range. But, you know, I could maybe do something with them or keep them for Valentine's, because they're hearts. So I've got a few of them, and I think they went down to like 20p. But what? Oh, a bit of string. But they went down to like 20p. Uh, so I've got a few of those in my stash. Let's put them there. Hang on, I want to put my glasses case out of the way. One minute. Otherwise, I'll end up losing it. Tree toppers, I bought these as well. Now, I'm not going to use them as tree toppers. 
but I will use the actual star. I'll just take this little bit off. And they went down to 20p or 50p, something like that. So I've got a couple of those. What else have I got in here? Oh, some more, more little tree toppers. Now these actually are not from the pound shop. They were from Wilkinson's. And I remember getting these in January before we went into lockdown and they went down to silly money, like 10p. Uh, and I grabbed a couple of those. They only have two, obviously, because I've only got two. What else is in here? A oh, bit of uh, twig stuff. Let me go on there, because that's an odd some sword. What else is in here? No, that's it for that. So let's put them bits back in there. I don't know if I'm boring, you know, you know probably just what I am, but as I was coming round here, I thought was well, might as well go through all the stuff. What's in this box? I did mean, literally just was got the stuff out of the loft and just bought it round, so I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I've got loads of foam balls, and I want to make snowmen with these. When I'm going to do that, I don't know. But I, I want to make little snowmen and cover them in that, um, what do you call it? Oh, that stuff in the bag, you know, the pretend fake snow stuff in a little bag and you shut it, um, fake snow, yeah, it's got to be fake snow, isn't it? Anyway, so I'm going to make little snowmen. The only thing is I'm not very good at making things like, like the hats um, and the feet and things like that, so I'm going to have to Google that or YouTube it rather. So I've got a box of those, which I've had these for, for yonks and yonks and yonks. What's in this one? I, you know what I need to do is I need to label it all. Oh, okay, so this is gold stuff in here. Right, some gold leaves. Not leaves, what are they? Block twig type things. Twig, tick, twig type things? Oh, a few of these, I like these. That's off of that um, garland I got from the range. Took it apart. What else have I got? Oh, some more little gold bits. I stuck that together. I remember doing these last year. So I've got loads of little things like that. I've got loads of little bits what I put together and made myself. And if you can see, backdrop in here is not dropping it now. Backdrop in here is not very clear. I should have had a black jumper on so I could show you a bit better. Uh, I made loads of little bits and pieces like that to put on the on the uh, reeds. So I've got loads of these bits. What else have I got in here? Oh, I remember getting them from the pound shop as well. I think you get like 10 in a pack, something like that. Let's put them up there a minute. What else have I got? Oh, ball balls, I've got loads of ball balls. These, oh, these were from Wilco's as well. And I remember getting, you know, them other ones I told you about. So these these are 38 ball balls in here. They're only, like, there's a mixture of large, not really large, like medium, small. And they were originally three pound and, and they went down to like 50p. And I've got two boxes of those. I remember getting them. Oh yeah, that's them little Christmas snowflakes. Yeah, look, tin in a pack. Got some of it, what else is in here? Oh, bead garlands. They obviously had gone in the sale because obviously I bought them after Christmas. What else? Loads of ball balls. I'm gonna put this back in here. Yeah, little, little tiny gold baubles. Um, oh really, everything in here is just bauble. Oh, I must have had three boxes of them. Okay, did, okay. Yeah, gold. Oh yeah, this is, so everything in here is gold. Oh, little gold Christmas trees, I was at the pound shop. are out of um, Wilco's as well, like little gold leaves. And I've obviously got a few packets of them, so they must have gone down. They was a pound each originally. And I remember getting these now, and they was like 10p, 10p a bunch. And how many's in the bunch? Three, I think. One, two, three. So three. Three glitter leaves. What else? Oh yeah, these are out of the pound shop. I like these. Sometimes they come with like a little mirror inside them. They had like a grey pewter colour last year as well. So I've got, I think I've got a couple of them. Oh yeah, look at, and I've got these. Oh, I'm finding all these lovely little bits. Oh, look at these, I love these little horses. 
These were originally these were from the range, and they were originally one thirty nine. But I wouldn't have paid that. They I, I don't know how much they were, but they probably went down to like fifty p in the sale. Look at them, aren't they cute? I like them. Only got two of these, I think. Let's see. Oh no, it's another one, so I must have got a few of them. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, some more gold leaves. Something stuck on them. More gold leaves. Uh, more gold leaves, holly leaves. What else? Oh no, it's another little horse, look. <laughs> you know what this is like, that Mary Poppins bag? You know, it goes on and on and on. Goes on forever. What else have I got in here? What's this? Oh, some coasters, which I, I remember now. I made um, like a box, square box, and I put all little. Uh, no, I didn't. I, I'll start again. Right, so out of the, these are from the range, the coasters, the gold coasters. I put them, made them into a box, put foam block in it, and I made decorations out, like coming out of it. I remember I did that. Obviously, it didn't last long because it fell apart. Um, that's it in here really yep so that's really all the gold I think unless we look look in other boxes and we find some more gold stuff that's the gold that looks like that's the gold bits so let's put that there the next one oh we're getting on to the good stuff now I remember all this stuff I'm going to try it Put it that way. Right. Let's have a look in here. Now this looks like it's all silver stuff. Actually, I'm going to bring the camera forward. Hold on. Shift it there. I don't know if that light's any better. Is that any better? Hold on. Sorry. I'm messing about this flipping camera. Right. Can you see? No, that's no good, is it? I'm going to move these garlands. One second. Oh. A minute. I'm still here. Right. That's better. Is it or not? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. So in here we've got, this is my silver and white stash. What have I got here? Some little sticker gem things. I'm not keen on these um, because they don't actually pull off in a strip. They're like, individual when they're too far too fiddly for me oh the silver silver ball is what you get in the pound shop i've got a few of those different different sizes i would have got them obviously in the sale as well oh there's a wilco bead silver that would have been in the sale um where did i get this from oh this is the range um ivory pearl garland i would have got that in the sale all these bits i know i would have got in the sale after christmas that's five metres actually, that one. That's quite nice. And they're nice size beads. Oh look, I've got even got a receipt from the range. Oh my god. Oh yes, them little gold horses. 56p they were. What else have I got in there? Um Yeah, some balls for 40p. 30p. Wow, I didn't realise I had the receipt in there. Okay, so then that means then these will be on here as well. Yeah, look at them. Gorgeous. I think I've only got a couple of them. Very nice, and they're like a pewter colour. Uh, I'm not going to get everything out of here because a lot of it is really, really old stuff like these. I don't know where I got all these from. These are well old, and I've got loads of them loads of just ordinary balls like that so i'm not going to get all that out that's a bit boring what else is in here? Um, these are nice these are from the range lovely i don't know if they're real glass i think no i think they're just acrylic but they're very nice nice and large some little butterflies I'm not sure where I, where i got them from actually um loads of little bits of silver uh what do you call it picks some snowflakes did these come out of the range or pound shop 
little polystyrene balls. I don't know where I got them from, but what I do with these is I just put Mod Podge all over more or PVA glue, dip them in glitter and uh, poke cocktail sticks in them. And just dig them into the wreaths or on the tree. So I've got some polystyrene stars as well. They're easy to do. What else is in here? I think that's it kind of for... Or more butterflies. That's a bit yellow with that one. More little decorate. I, I, honestly, some of this stuff I've had for years and years. I couldn't tell you where I got it from. Oh, this is another one from the range. These were nice as well. These were like 130, obviously down to 40p or whatever. They were nice. Lots of glitter all over them. Else? More string beads. I've got little balls no what they call jingle bells jingle bells oh, i've got the little scatter table diamonds that are actually they're from hobby lobby from craft rather and a bag of them little diamonds what else is in here i've got little bells <laughs> oh my days right now let's see what's in the other one it back in there because I'm conscious of the time guys I don't want to bore you too much let's put that on there for a minute and then we'll swap no, let's move this one down here and we'll come back up here so this one oh yes I made this this is blues uh like bluey greeny teal kind of colors I right, ice blue I call it I started this was last year ago and then I took it apart I made this as a forget that it's a reef but it was a table reef um and it actually was absolutely beautiful when i'd done this it was yeah it was really really nice and it just sat on my table um and then this no that was not last year it was a year before then the last year i wanted to utilize it so i started taking bits off of it that's why it's now half bald Ball balls. Where did I get these ones from? Oh, I think these are from, you know, that place called Pound Stretcher. They went down to a pound. They was originally two ninety nine, as you can see. But I like them colours. Love them colours. Um, oh, these was out of Debenhams. They went from £5 to £1.50. In that nice colour. See, all these type of ball balls are from the range. Look how nice they are. Look at the blue. I love the navy. Love navy. Uh, they was original. Oh, well, they was only seventy p to start with, so they must have gone down on that receipt like to thirty p then. So I've got a few of those. Look how nice they are. Really like them. In actual fact, they're only polystyrene. If I was clever enough, I could probably do these myself because all that is is blue glitter, and those um, you know them string of little beads. That's all they are. But I would imagine it's just fiddly to sit and do it. You know what I mean? I'd rather buy them. And these was a nice colour. Look at these are glass, these ones, but they was out of the range as well. Very pretty. Um, this one I did kind of myself. That's only those clear balls. Um, open it up as you. Oh, God, I've got glitter coming everywhere. Open them up. Put It's not a very good example, actually, but just to show you how it works. Um, open them up. Put your uh, glue in it, watery glue. Swish it all around so it completely covers it. Put some glitter in it, shake it, and then you've got your glitter ball. And then you can obviously decorate them um, how you like. Um, and I've probably got these out of the clear balls out of Hobby Lob Hobby Craft. Oh, I've got loads of these. I think these are from the range as well. These are kind of little bows. Yeah, I've got loads of those little ones in the greeny colour. Very pretty. Um, what else? I've got loads of these little to-do little mini, mini um, Christmas trees. That's, do a nice little scene which I did last year but I obviously did use those more pine cones and loads loads of little let's tip the camera down you can actually see look I've got loads of little little balls in the bottom there so that's that stash and then the last couple of bits I have a bag of the white roses. 
which I'm going to use as my fillers um, and, and glitter them up and spray them and do something like that. I think I'll just get these off of Amazon. Um, actually, these ones were cheap. I can't remember how much they was. I've had them for a long time. That's them little Christmas trees. And they went down to 50p. I mind you, I only managed to get five of them. Um, but they're going to hopefully look good as, as the door swags. And I'm hoping that they will get them back in again this year. I don't mind paying a pound. Pounds nothing, is it? But for 50p, I thought, you know, can't go wrong with that. And lastly, these are those lanterns which I bought from the pound shop last year, which was a fiver. They, I don't think these went in a set. Oh, I think they did. I think they went down to three pound, but they was originally fiver. And you remember when I bought the other ones from Aldi, the three in a set? Do you know what? I cannot find them for love nor money. I've put one at the loft, or Sean's put one at the loft for me, and I've been up there and I cannot find them. They've got to be up there somewhere. But what I was saying was, these are plastic, five pound each, and obviously that whole set of three, which were glass, the 15 pound. Um, I mean, they was, these were fine, and I decorated these. I did a swag on the top, I put glitter on the front, motives on them, I put batteries in them, um, I gave them to my friends. They were really, come out lo absolutely lovely. So they're well worth getting for five pound and just decorating them, very nice. And I think that's it guys, showed you that, showed you that. Um, I have got some more bits indoors, which I haven't bought round, but we can go through that another day. Um, but that's my Christmas stash at the moment. And then Friday, we're supposed to be going to, which we've just found, a Christmas sh pound shop in Chelmsford in Essex, I think. So I'm meant to be going over there on Friday. Um, if we can, we'll take some film. And if not, I won't film if we get anything on that Friday for Friday night, because I'll be out all day. So I will try and film it Friday, but upload it on Saturday, okay? so. You won't see me Friday, you'll see me Saturday. Unless things change. If, it, if, it, if anything changes, I'll let you know. Or I'll give you a call. <laughs> anyway, have a nice couple of days. Right up to the weekend. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you then. Bye for now. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>